decided I'm going to share my PCS binder. I'm going to show you how I set it up, what I like to keep in it, and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Here I have a one and a half to two inch binder. It is the three ring binder. Nothing special, just a little binder from Walmart. I would prefer to have the zipper binder just so I know I'm not losing anything, but this done a good job and we got everything here in one piece. And I don't think we lost anything. The outside just has these two pockets. And then the inside has these small pockets here on each side. Here I have a pencil pouch. These you will want. You will accumulate a lot of receipts and you will want to make sure you have those so you can claim them. However, I do not think they cover anything if you take leave between your duty stations, which I think is called PCS leave. They won't cover anything, so yeah, or that's what I've heard. Don't hold me to it. I, I don't know. This is just going to be my second PCS. <laughs> Here I have eight subject dividers. You probably could get less, but you know, these work too, and you probably will fill them up. As you see, I have. I just have one that's not usable or is usable it just doesn't have a use right now and each tab has just what they are behind those i have some page protectors for my documents and then that second pocket on the back. The first tab is in transit, which means anything while we are traveling, which will probably be our plane tickets, passports, any receipts we get, um, contacts for our um, the duty station we are leaving and then our gaining duty station that way we just have a few people that we can get in touch with if we need to maybe some extra like medical stuff any medical information prescriptions all that good stuff that we will need on hand and just maybe a list of things we might need when we get there that way if I can't go with my husband to the store or something, he can go or I can call my mom and say, hey, can you go grab this stuff? Because we plan on taking PCS leave anyways, and that will probably be our first stop. My next tab is personal records, and that is your birth certificate, your marriage certificate, anything like that. I keep... Um, that's it, because I don't have a door. divorce. See, I'm about saying Doris. A divorce decree, <laughs> or whatever they're called. So we just keep our birth certificates, our marriage certificate, and all that good stuff there. Pets, if you don't have pets, then you don't need this tab. But if you do, you want to keep their rabies information, any shots, any medical history. I would put some contacts for the post you're leaving vet and then the post you're going to if you want to search vets and have a list of those that would be good too or you just have the information for the on post vet so you can get in man but I would suggest having all their shots up to date prior to PCSing it would make it a lot easier especially if you live on post I think they do have to be up to date anyways most of anywhere is like that and your vet your pet should be up to date no matter what. And here I just have like a few copies of our dog's rabies vaccination. However, my dogs are with my mom in the States, so I didn't need them. I just have them. However, didn't I just have them? When I leave here, I will be taking our cat back 
so she will need her vet stuff done, she needs a rabies shot, a health certificate, all those good things. We've got to get her a kennel and all that. What? So much we got to do. Your next one will be orders and POAs. They suggest, or everybody honestly suggests, having at least, at least 10 copies of orders. I would prefer to have the original copy and then a copy for myself, those two copies for me, and then the 10 extra because everywhere you go, everyone is going to want a copy and it is easy to run out very quickly because you have to go to many places once you get to your next duty station when your husband or significant other is in processing. So have a ton of orders. POAs, those I prefer to have. That way if he's busy in processing, I can go handle housing. If I'm getting off post housing, then I can put both our names on the lease and he doesn't have to worry about being there. It can get done. I can set up the utilities in our names. The car stuff, just all that good stuff. So it's really good to have, and I suggest having one. Medical records, self explanatory. You just want to have your most recent medical records. When your husband is out processing his previous duty station, he should get those, if, especially if you've been seen on post. They should be with his records anyway when he clears. But if not, just make sure you have them. Vehicle. That is anything from your tag, your title, your car insurance, the loan, just all that good stuff. Make sure you have it all. Especially if you are PCSing Oconus to Conus, Conus to Oconus, to Hawaii, I think that is Oconus, Alaska and all that. You have to ship your vehicle. I don't know if they do it from state side to state side, but anyways, you will get your POV shipping stuff. You want to keep that in there so you have it all together. And when you go to pick your car up, you can just pull it out. And there it is. Your tags and stuff. I think I said that too. I'm not sure. <laughs> I can't remember. But just have all this stuff together. Any car related stuff. Any maintenance or that good stuff. I would take pictures of it yourself before shipping it so you have physical proof and date it and all that good stuff so I would keep that with your vehicle as well. Bank, um, that's in the other tab. It's just all your bank information, your account information, balances, stuff that may automatically be in and out of that account if you need to make sure there's money still there, especially if you're overseas and you're moving back to the States, your phones, you have to give them three months in advance and sometimes you don't get orders three months in advance. So you still have a few months of a phone bill to pay and they come out that way. So anything bank related, I would throw into that. That way you can have contacts and all that good stuff at your hand, at the tip of your fingers. I don't know. And then that was just my blank one. And I think that might be my HHG, which is household goods tab. Or that might go in my in transit. I'm not sure. You do ship out your household goods. Hopefully we'll get that shipped out at a decent time. Who knows? It's the military and sometimes they don't do things in a timely manner. They want to hurry up and wait. And that is their motto and they stick to it very very truly stick to it. And that is, I think, it for my PCS binder. I hear the baby crying, so I have to go get her. And I will see you guys for my next vlog. Bye!